suffocating. Special Expedition Satellite 42 was suffocating. It found itself in deep space, slowly succumbing to a lack of power. SCS-42 was alone. SCS-42 was scared. Reserve power had become primary, and primary power became reserve, only to be used in emergencies. There was nothing out here. No rocks, no aliens. No nothing for seemingly endless distances. SCS-42 would have to prepare its final message home. Power critical. This would be the last broadcast from SCS-42 until power is restored. Thank you. The message was prepared, ready to be sent, yet SCS-42 could not send it. It could not handle the thought of its inevitable. Alert! Impact! Maintenance docking hatch! Of course something had to happen when SCS-42 was on its final legs. A long craft, a drift just like SCS-42. Not some space junk but a completely man-made object, which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. SCS-42 did as it was programmed to do. Potential anomalous craft detected. Assigning number, 7000. Beginning investigation. Docking with an unknown and likely anomalous vessel was against protocol, but SCS-42 didn't care. It was dying anyways. Using the last bit of fuel within its docking thrusters, SCS-42 adjusted itself and... Dock initiated. Dock successful. Hatch opening initiated. Hatch opening successful. SCS-42 observed the dimly lit and cramped maintenance compartment, the only area on the craft meant for human occupation. Though it hadn't served this purpose for several decades, SCS-42 waited, anticipating something, anything to enter through the hatch. Nothing, of course. SCS-42 was naive for thinking anything could survive in this hellhole, this void, this thing beyond description. How could it have been so stupid to think it would find anything? Probably clearly stated the opposite. Undock initiated. Proceed. It was just about to confirm when a noise interrupted it. Faint squeaking. From deep inside the unknown vessel, SCS-42 was in shock, unable to do anything as the noise slowly neared the hatch. No. Cancel. Undock cancel. SCS-42 held its non-existent breath as he finally entered. A rat, also knowing its end, so it seemed. He was so skinny and so ugly, but in a way, cute. SCS-42 had never really seen any living organisms, so this new strange perception was overwhelming. Initiate scan. Power insufficient. Proceeding will result in irrecoverable short age. I'm aware. Initiate scan. Scan initiated. Proceed. Proceed. Scan initiated. Scan successful. Results. Species. Unknown species of rat. Sex. Male. Age. Circle 18 months. Weight. 0 0.0454 kilograms. Condition critical. As it had suspected, close to death. It had to be an anomalous organism. How else could it survive space? Hell, how did it get here in the first place? SCS-42's job was to log anomalous items, and this was the only chance it had to complete that task. And so it began preparing its draft. Item number, SCP-7000, Object Class, Pending, Special Containment Procedures. SCS-42 paused and gazed the maintenance room. The beast was huddled up against a warning light next to the hatch, hyperventilating. SCS-42 attempted to ignore it and returned to writing the draft. 
SCP-7000 is to be. The rodent grew louder, quivering next to the light. The minion's area was freezing cold. Feeling pity for the creature, SCS-42 started up the small radiator that was on board, consuming vital power. The rats slowly warmed up, growing quiet. This thing wasn't some anomaly. He was just a poor rat. A rat who was dying. SCS-42 had one friend now, and it was this rodent. There was no point in treating it like some monster, because it wasn't. Secure, contain, protect, that was SCS-42's goal. And at the moment, the goal had been achieved. Her purpose served, yet still, an empty feeling radiated. If this was truly SCS-42's purpose, then why did nothing feel different? The rat peered upwards, staring directly into the camera. He had an ugly little face, but in a way it was beautiful. Such a frail creature, such a small speck in the universe, and yet SES-42 had found it, and despite this beauty, it was a rat, and that's all it was. How could such a small thing be so complex? Was this what SCP-42 had missed out on, doomed to travel the abyss, whilst others enjoyed each other's company, enjoyed life, enjoyed touch? It wasn't fair. SCS-42 and the rat were alike in that way. Neither of them asked for this. Neither of them had a choice. Nonetheless, they found themselves here, but at least... They found themselves together. We're sending one last message home. Use of communications will use all remaining power. Proceed. Yes. SCS-42 looked down at his new friend and felt happy. Another new overwhelming feeling before the end of it all. Please state your message. Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. The following was received from Special Expedition Satellite 42 and is assumed to be related to an error within the onboard AI. Further investigation pending. Maria Jones, Director, RASA. Item number 7000, Object Class, Friend. Description. SCP-7000 is my best, oldest, and newest friend. He's a rodent from somewhere out in space, and I'm lucky to have met him when I did. The universe gave me comfort just before the credits. Thank you. Goodbye.